The monthly update from the U.S. Geological Survey Volcanoes shows what scientists have learned about the explosion at Biscuit Basin that occurred on July 23rd. USGS scientists learned the explosion was a shallow one of boiling water and steam rather than magma. The rocks and debris that spouted from the boom were of sandstone and siltstone, USGS said. These types of rocks are debris from glaciers. If the explosion had rooted from deeper in the ground from magma, the rocks that would be found around the site would be rhyolite, which comes from about 175 feet below the surface. Scientists placed cameras, seismometers, and thermal probes at Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin following that July explosion to further study what happened. Those tools have detected surges of water, USGS said, that aren't associated with explosions like seen in July. These surges are more of a bubble that pushes water outward from the middle of the pool, USGS said. USGS said hydrothermal explosions like at Biscuit Basin are he most likely hazard to occur in the Yellowstone region in our lifetimes. The same scientists also predict Steamboat Geyser to erupt in the coming days or weeks based on its normal activity. They also noted Yellowstone Volcano's activity is normal is consistent with research on it. At this point, the status of Biscuit Basin for the next tourist season is unknown. It depends on the activity that occurs over the winter, and the park's ability to rebuild or maybe reroute the boardwalks. That decision probably won't be made for several months, USGS Volcanoes said.